so, hey everyone, I'm here with my brother, Aaron, Aaron, and uh, he was just, we were actually sharing reflections of how we just had lunch with Alex Gray, and we're here at Cosm right now, and, uh, yeah, it was just, like, so cool to be hanging out there, and, like, he, he uh, went and bought a poster, uh, and, and Alex signed it for him, and, and did, like, a unique little art piece on his, on his piece, which is just so cool, and, um, and then you were, you were mentioning, um, you were mentioning that while, uh, after I had left, you guys had a conversation, and you we were mentioning, yeah. We discussed neuroscience a little bit, how spirituality impacts the brain. So, neurons have so little ions in them that move back and forth, and this back and forth messaging is what creates our cognition, our thoughts, our feelings, everything who we are, everything who we care about, everything that we will be are these tiny little ions that are moving inside of our brain creating these cognitions and experiences. But where is spirituality in the brain? Where is your soul inside of all of this mess of 86 billion neurons that are inside of your head? Alex believes that it's within the microbiome, and it's the spirituality, and these kinetic energy is what's moving these ions back and forth, and the angels are in the microbiome. And that's where spirituality is, that's what ties us all together and unites us. We're all one being with this one kinetic energy and that is being shared and transferred back and forth. And that's what kind of talks about the, the negativity that we're facing now. You know, we're all one collective being and we see people fighting against each other. That's just, it's, it's like watching an organism destroy itself. You right, know? right, right. We have right. to all work together because we're all one organism, whether we realize it or not. Totally, and I love that idea that, that the angels and the guides are in our microbiome. Exactly. Right? Because it, there's, there's so much energy moving around inside of us that's calling forth uh, uh, some sort of spontaneous action or reaction for us to keep alive, right? Exactly. In order to keep evolving, to keep growing. And so essentially what we're doing is we're, we're just honoring the fact that there are these uh, sacred technologies that are encoded into our neural architecture and, and, we're, and we're just raising our awareness to the potential that maybe, just maybe, um, there's a, a higher dimensional frequency that we can tap into that's innately within our energy body, right? It's, 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 it's in those ions, right? Exactly. So it's, and, and you said it's the space between the synapse. Exactly. So psychedelics are our way to connect with this. In the psychedelic laboratory, that's where we make the connections between the mind and the spirit. That's where we see these. Psychedelics are uh, an opportunity. They're a tool to kind of connect our physical being to the spiritual which is yes. what you see in all of Alex's paintings. You see a detailed human anatomy. You see all these things that we're familiar with, organs, hearts, lungs, bone structures. And then he ties in things we are not familiar with, which is the spirit. All these other elements that we cannot necessarily see, but other people have interpreted or have felt in one way or another. Those kind of collectiveness. Yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing too, because I mean, he really is able to capture a lot of the archetypical expressions of spirit in, in the psychedelic realm. And it's something that we've all seen when we've experienced the medicine of different different access points, different frequencies, different technologies that open up different doorways Absolutely. to vision, right? Like in this in this one, let's go over here to this one. Like here we see this like psychedelic and more of an energetic vision of meditation and prayer. And this isn't necessarily this person is not necessarily on psychedelics, right? Absolutely. But they, they could be praying and he's just capturing the inner realm. And noticing what I love about this piece is that you notice here that the eyes are open underneath the eyelid, right? And so there, but she's seeing something that's beyond and I love the eyes that he connects on the piece itself. And you can see the intense human anatomy that's kind of built into the artwork on top of its connection to the spiritual universe where you see the same thing inside of the person's mind to what's inside of the universe. And that's kind of what we're talking about, this collective consciousness. We are made from star parts that have that's all it. formed together. That's we it. are all from the same place. That's it. And yeah, so what, what I love about um, this piece, the Cosmic Christ, um, is this is actually a uh, Archetypically, this this came into my life when I was on ayahuasca, and I actually saw this exact piece in my mind in a different form. But essentially, it was the cosmic Christ coming in the form of fire, laughing this ecstatic yet sinister bliss, saying, "I will create you, and I will destroy you." And it's our way. Our psychedelics are a way to kind of contact these forces that have created, you know, who we are today, and the evolution that has kind of spawned from that. How we've turned from 
the stardust and who we are today with these cognitions, thoughts, experiences. Right. It's these energies that bond us together and psychedelics are a window to interpreting that energy in, in many different ways. However, we can interpret it, whether it be humanoid shapes mixed with energy or any way that our brains can actually comprehend these amazing connections that are between us. Well, and, and our, our minds do want to comprehend it, right? Absolutely. They want to, but in order to do so, we have to break free from the confines of the ancestral trauma that has been, you know, told, telling us that we need to survive. Absolutely. We need to be in a state of fight or flight. We're in beta brainwaves. We're, we're, it's me against you. We are separate from each other. We're not connected to source, Absolutely. right? And so, so we're, 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 in a sense, we're kind of swimming upstream here, you know, to spawn with a new idea of potential. Absolutely. Um, and when we do, it's that, the, it's those moments between the synapse that bring us back to that spiritual connection that we have with source which was always there it was just waiting to be activated exactly just because we can't see it does not mean it's not there that's it yeah awesome. there we, and there we are and there we were awesome yeah awesome well from here at cosm the chapel of sacred mirrors in new york this is jonathan aaron see you on the other side